what current member of the Cowboys is closest to becoming a Hall of Famer? Interesting question. Never even thought about that. So I looked into it and I realized that, hmm, Tyron Smith, left tackle, I believe will be a first ballot Hall of Famer, has now played 12 years, 148 games. But he's missed 17 games the last three seasons. So do I think he can make it another year? I hope so. Would I be surprised if he called it quits before next year? I No, I wouldn't be surprised. So I guess he would be the closest to the five-year cycle that it takes before you're eligible to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So I'll go Tyron Smith, first ballot lock Hall of Famer, will probably be the first to be inducted. But then I looked a little closer. Wait a second. Zach Martin, also a lock Hall of Famer. Wait a second. Would you believe that Zach Martin is a month older than Tyron Smith. So wait, Tyron Smith has played 12 years to Zach Martin's nine years in the NFL, 12 to nine, but Zach is a little older because Zach redshirted at Notre Dame, stayed for five years while Ty Smith at USC was three and done. Again, how the NFL gets away with forcing high school players to play three years of college football is beyond me. But Ty Smith did play his three years at SC and then hit the draft. But Zach Martin is a month older. Then again, look at this. Ty Smith has played 148 NFL games to Zach's 137. So in three fewer years, Zach Martin has played only 11 fewer games. Huh. Interesting. Zach's just stayed much healthier, obviously, than Ty Smith has. How much longer can Zach last? I have no idea. I hope three more years. Again, they're both 32 years of age, Ty and Zach. But 32 doesn't seem that old. Brady played until he's 45. He might play again for all I know. 32? Can both of them last a couple of more years? Three years? I, I don't know for sure. But that brings me to the newest addition to my Dallas Cowboys. By the way, I shouldn't overlook the, the children on my team before I get to the newest addition. Micah Parsons is only 23 years of age. I, I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. I don't want to jinx him. It will be only about his health, not about his ability. I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the Hall of Fame at some point. Health, the key issue. Could CeeDee Lamb or Tony Pollard have huge breakout years the next two, three, four years and become Hall of Fame candidates? Maybe. It's probably a long shot, but maybe. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.